Hey friends, this is Atif. Hope you're well and welcome to the new update on VeChain. As in my earlier videos, I've been showing you that VeChain was moving inside this long down channel on a weekly time frame chart. And from here, you can see it started getting squeezed inside this support and the resistance of uh, the falling wedge pattern. The move changed from a down channel to a falling wedge pattern. And in today's video, we will once again take a look at this move. And I would also like to show you this recent breakdown that has happened on the daily time frame chart as well. But before starting this analysis, if you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe it. And for more trading signals, you can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member. Because here I'm sharing different trading signals for you. And you can find a link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. And if you would like to see how my trading signals work, then I've also shared the link for the trading signals report in the video's description. You just need to open that report. And for example, if you would like to check or verify any trading signal like this, the trade setup for a DIA. You just need to click on this link. It will take you to the trading views chart. And there is a play button available on every chart there. You just need to click that play button and it will show you how the price and moved up from the buying zone and rallied to the sell target zone. Now let's move to the live chart of uh, VeChain. And here we can see that uh, it has uh, finally broken down the support of this falling wedge pattern. That is in fact a bullish bias pattern, but recently we had extreme sell off and the price line broke down the support. And now if we take a look at the target for this uh, breakdown, then the expected move or target after this breakdown was here. That is approximately at 1.4 cents or 1.5 cents. And you can see that the price line has so far dropped up to uh, 1.475 cents. So we have already achieved that target. Yeah, but you can see that the price line could not break down this support of 1.5 cents as well. We had a long spike and the price line recovered back very soon. Now, if we switch to the weekly time frame chart, then here we can see that it was moving inside this long down channel. And from here, it started getting squeezed inside this falling wedge pattern. And now the price is quite squeezed. You can see we had a bounce here. We had another bounce here, another bounce here. And now the price end, uh, the movement of the price end is quite squeezed inside this support and resistance of this channel and this falling wedge pattern. Now, at the same time, you can see it is struggling to break out this red line. That is an exponential moving average, the EMA 21 on the weekly time frame chart as well and we are having a very nice and long-term support that i was showing you here and it's a quite long-term support at 1.5 cents that has been working as a support here and support here and if we move more back then here it was breaking as a support and here as well therefore again and by the way here it was breaking as a resistance and again it is breaking as a nice support and therefore i'm expecting that soon it can uh, break out this resistance of the falling wedge pattern once the price end will be able to break out this resistance of the falling wedge pattern, then the target for this breakout will be here at the top of the channel or wedge that can be between 28 cents to 30 cents. By the way, before that, we also have another very long-term resistance that is at 3.5 cents that has been previously breaking out the resistance here, resistance here, and here back in the month of uh, March 2021, it was breaking as a nice support when we had this very, very powerful rally after testing the support. You can see before that here, it was breaking as a resistance. We got rejection. And after the breakout, we retested this previous resistance as a support. And then we had a powerful rally. Therefore, again, it can be another very strong hurdle uh, for the price line. So this was the update so far. I hope that you've liked the analysis. Then do hit the like and do subscribe to the channel as well. And for more trading signals, you can also join me and support me as a YouTube member or as a Patreon member. Because here I'm sharing different trading signals for you. And you can find a link to join me here in the video's description I've shared. Take care. Goodbye.